All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Hell's Paradise episode six. Uh, not a lot to say about the last episode. I will say though, uh, I, made, I made a joke about it on Twitter. Um, but uh, this man, this giant man, I think his name's Rokurota. Um, he's just he's two and zero. He's two and zero currently on taking out misogynists, which is funny as shit to be honest. Uh, obviously, it could just be a coincidence, but if that was actually the case, and he was aware of like, you know what? You should respect women. Deaf. Uh, that would be funny, but uh, we will see how that's going to go from here. Um, yeah, hopefully... I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be able to deal with this guy. He, so far, he's only killed ones of the Yamada clan that we know of. He also eats them. So, yeah, let's see if this guy's going to be a problem or not. Uh, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's get into this episode right now. Oh, this is the this is the giant guy. Did he kill his parents? Well, oh, this guy's a mad cannibal. Fully just ripped out a chunk of him. Jeez, and then launched him into a tree. You're right. It is too late for you. Maybe you wouldn't have died if you weren't having this stupid conversation with her. Okay, Gabi Maru, the Titan Slayer. He's fucking ridiculously big. A dead man. He's assigned to a dead man. You're gonna kill this man? This is gonna be a tough battle. I must say, very strong. Very strong. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's the correct response. Yes. Yes, he is. If she's going to help, I would actually like to see it. You're not going to help him? Oh, my God. She's pissing me off. She's pissing him off. Like, all the times they've, like, implied, if you do this, if you stand here, if you go against him in this way... You will die. Oh, we're getting more Nimpo. Very cool. Didn't do shit, though. This man's body is harder than a tree. I don't know, tickle his feet or something. This guy's dead. Just put him out of his misery or something. Jesus. Who fucking cares about gender, bro? Like I said, if you'd realised this in the last episode, you wouldn't be fucking dying right now. Why does it always take death for them to realise what she has already been saying to you? Yeah, give me a sword, bitch. Yeah, this Yamada, the Yamada clan's dropping like flies. She is going up in the ranks. In the Yamada clan. By process of elimination. Oh, fuck! Sagani? Wow. I kind of feel bad, bad for bro. He's just a wild animal, basically. Sagani finally coming in clutch. Let's go. What do you mean you're not that kind of guy? Huh? Yeah, his whole fucking finger coming off. He can do it. Oh, he has faith in that you can do it. Damn. Ooh, the deflect. Oh, the, oh, I don't want it. Oh, I don't want to see this. It'd be gross. Did it stop? Bro. The hesitation. You couldn't get through. Don't hesitate. Keep you cool. What happened to his leg? Oh, shit. Really? Can't even get through it. He's just stopped waiting there for you to make your next move. Bro's hungry. 
Feed him, feed him your, your friend. He crying? What the fuck? He's like a baby. Gabby Mara got fucking stoned. Squished in the ground. Can you? Bleeding out your fucking eyes. Sagi! Can someone pull up, please? Come on. No hesitation. You got this. Come on, Sagi. Split that shit in two. Oh. Oh. Okay, she deflected it. Didn't cut it, though. Come on, Sagiri. Not anymore, bro. Sustain suitability to lead the clan. So she could be fucking number one. You're not dead yet. Jesus, dude. Let's go, Sagiri. Yes, sir. He's literally a baby. I feel bad. What the fuck did you just do? Like a frog? Just jumped up? How are you hungry in that big ass body? Put some food on the floor? I want to know why he's got that thing on his face. Stone storm and blaze mode. He's combining them. What is he doing right now? Just a big distraction? You four-eyed raccoon dog. Is it the smoke that's going to kill him or is it going to blind him? Yeah. Yep. He's going to die from the smoke. That's got to be a painful way to fucking go out. His head's down. Do it. Do it, Sagadi. <gasps> oh my god. You almost lost your fucking ribcage. Come on, Sagadi. Please, for the love of God, chop his head off. She do it? Oh, bro, seeing his life flash before his eyes. Oh, he's getting the demon slayer treatment right here. See, I feel bad for him. He's just... He's, just, he's basically a kid. That's kind of fucked up, but yeah. I'm proud of Sagari, Sagari for finally getting to this point. He's done. Just leave him to be cremated. Oh, more fucking giants. Jesus, man. Yeah, why are they going towards him? They're more like flies than uh, animals. Are we going to meet back up with the other two? Or are we just split up from them now? How many have we got left? Four and four? Oh no, five and five, including Bakugo, I think. Oh, we found them. Nice. Oh god, what have they found? What is it? A village? Oh, this is long abandoned. Are you drinking their blood? I would not fucking eat these things. You're a, you're a crazy man. So, potentially these things live here? Who there? 
Who the fuck is this? What what on earth? Uh hello? Oh, that's fucking creepy. Right, so another good episode of Hell's Paradise, episode six. Um yeah, that was another great episode. I'm kinda sad that this giant guy's died, but the way it was explained, he was basically a wild animal. Um, he was also not specifically hunting misogynists. He was basically a giant baby. Clearly, there was something wrong with him or he'd never had a chance to grow up. And that's just turned him to what he was, a, a giant wild animal. Um, but yeah, a really good episode. I'm glad Sagadis finally got over what she was trying to fight for here. And she's kind of met, met in the middle of how she can do she can do her way of life, I guess. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, and then this freaky ass end of the episode, we've got five people left. So five convicts, five of the Yamada, Yamada clan, I think. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then, yeah, so ten people left. Well, there were ten convicts. Now there's ten people altogether. And then, yeah, freaky ass end of the episode. These, like, women there here. Creepy as shit. So many mysteries that we're definitely not going to figure out soon. But uh, yeah, overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.